Why do Christians allow constant disrespect? Why? Why do Christians allow constant disrespect and constant misrepresentations from some certain individuals? Why? Is it just tolerance? Well, I'm not going to criticize what Christians do not criticize when it comes to their religion. I'm a Muslim, and I believe in Jesus Christ. I give him the same salutation I give to our prophet Muhammad. I give Jesus Christ the same salutation I give to our prophet Muhammad. In fact, what makes me a Muslim is believing in Jesus Christ, because Jesus Christ is part of the prophets. And if you want to be a believer of God and you do not believe in all his prophets, then you are not a Muslim. So I must believe in Jesus Christ because I am obligated to believe in Jesus Christ. For me to truly say in my heart that I am serving God. So I believe in Jesus Christ and I know exactly what Jesus Christ represented. And obviously, what you represented is not what I'm seeing now. And it seems like the Christians, our brothers and sisters, have allowed it to happen for a very long time. Misrepresentation over the century, century upon century, they have misrepresented Jesus Christ. And meanwhile, you guys just sit down and watch. Why? So let's talk about France Olympic 2024 opening that is currently trending online, even the likes of Elon Musk and some other famous people on the net have openly criticized it. For example, if Elon Musk can make this kind of speech, what about you guys? Elon Musk said, end of days vibe. <laughs> End of days vibes. And not just only that, he said, Christianity has become toothless. I am not the one saying that too. I am a poor motherfucker staying in Nigeria. But I hope you guys can regard Elon Musk way more than you regard me, right? Elon Musk, the multi billionaire, said, Christianity has become toothless. When you are toothless, you cannot bite. You cannot hurt anyone. You will just be sucking the skin. In fact, if you see a toothless lion, you can even slap the lion and nothing will happen. So, why has Christianity become toothless? Because of constant misrepresentation. Constant. You guys just keeping quiet. Like I've said, I'm not here to criticize anything. I'm not. So, since you guys cannot openly say, oh, no, this is a misrepresentation of our belief, then who am I to say you are representing, you are misrepresenting Christianity? But I know they are misrepre misrepresenting Jesus Christ, though. I know that for sure. But I'm talking about Christianity. Well, so what is the boss about this whole Olympic uh, France opening? Firstly, check out this picture. The Last Supper. It's a very sacred uh, event in Christian faith. The Last Supper. Of course, you see Jesus Christ and his disciples. Of course, it's really, really popular in the Bible. But then again, they want to recreate the event at the Olympic France 2024. See what they did. They put all drag queens Put a child there and put a woman to represent Jesus Christ. And not just only that. Look at who they put to represent God. I don't know the God who, not my God, not my Allah. But look who they used to represent him. I'm not going to show videos. Of course, obviously, it is not mine to share. So if you care, go and watch it. Over 1 billion people tune in to watch the Olympic opening. Kids, one billion tune in to watch the Olympic opening and see. Our Nigerians are there. So many other countries represented, repre so many other people represented their country are there currently. 
I'm not criticizing the game. The game is nice. But I'm criticizing the head. If the head is no good, then what about the body? But then again, we are just saying, why do Christians keep allowing this misrepresentation? In fact, someone said, they literally worship a golden calf in the Olympic opening ceremony. Wake the F up. That was the guy said, this uh, Stu Peter. You remember, for those of you who I might want to know, refresh your memory when it comes to the Bible, you remember Moses when God called him to come and take the commandments. You remember. He went up there. Left the people that God saved. Went up there to take the commandment. God gave him the commandment. And when he came back, they were worshipping what? Calf. The head of a calf. They created a calf made of gold. And we are worshipping it. And Moses was angry and cast them to hell. Now, you see what they represent. A calf head, literally worshipping it. And you guys do not want to open your eyes. Well, like I've said before, I am not criticizing it when you guys are not criticizing it. Someone said, the Olympics are banned. The Olympics has banned the hijab, but is allowing trannies to mock the Last Supper. The Olympics, you 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 dare not wear a hijab. <laughs> they banned the hijab, <laughs> but they allow so many other stuff. Ah. Uh, Oh, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. But the thing is that why do Christianity allow this misrepresentation? So let's talk about the organizer of that Olympic uh, ceremony. This is the, the guy. According to him, it's a cool Olympic opening ceremony. Director want everyone to feel represented. Thomas Jolly has shared that he wants everyone to feel represented at the Paris 2024. So by representing, you have to induce. If you watch that opening, it encourage tourism. It encourage a man and a man kissing. Okay, I don't want to act as if I am criticizing it. You know all the media are home. You know who who own them, not to get penalized. But it is good that you are aware. It is good that you are aware. And the question still remains. Why do you guys allow this misrepresentation? If you keep allowing it, they keep watering it down. That is the problem. They keep watering it down. When we all are gone, they might say, Jesus Christ was gay. That's why he was never in a relationship. They might say it. See what they are representing. Who told you that? You know, far back as 50, 20, 200 years ago, 100 years ago, the people there were like, nah, they won't go this far. But now they are went there. Then you now will say, nah, Adam Slink. They won't go this far. Well, by the time they go very extremely far, maybe we, we might not be here to witness it. Then our own generation will be like, nah, they won't go another deep, they won't go deeper until the world is completely, until the world is completely read, get rid of the true Christians. This is Bishop Barron. You know, just a few days ago, I was in Indianapolis for the marvelous celebration of the Eucharistic Congress. 50,000 Catholics coming together to worship the Lord and celebrate the real presence of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. So I come from that experience and I come home and, you know, I love the Olympics. So I turn on the opening ceremonies in the Olympics. What do I see now? And it's in Paris, France, a city I love. I spent three years as a doctoral student there. What do I see? But this 
gross mockery of the Last Supper. And I won't describe it any further. Just go online. It's, it's gone viral. You can see it. But this France felt evidently, as it's trying to put its best cultural foot forward, the right thing to do is to mock this very central moment in Christianity where Jesus, at his Last Supper, gives his body and blood in anticipation of the cross. And so it's presented, though, as this gross sort of flippant mockery. Uh, France, which used to be called the eldest daughter of the church, Paris that gave us um, Thomas Aquinas taught there, and Vincent de Paul was there, King Louis IX, St. Louis, France that sent Catholic missionaries all over the world. France whose culture, and I mean the honoring of, of the individual and of, of human rights and of, of freedom, is grounded very much in Christianity, felt the right thing to do was to mock uh, the Christian faith. You know, a question I would pose, we all know the answer to it. Um, would they ever have dared mock Islam in a similar way? Would they ever have dreamed of, of mocking in this, in this gross, you know, public way a scene from the, from the Quran? As I say, we, we all know the answer to that. I think, folks, what's interesting here is th this deeply secularist um, postmodern society knows who its enemy is. They're, they're naming it. And we should believe them. They're, they're telling us who they are. We should believe them. But furthermore, we Christians, we Catholics, should not be sheepish. We should resist. We should make our voices heard. I remember in the, I wasn't there, but in those days, Christianity marched to war. You see these element guys with this long cross there, very strong, able men, cannot withstand you criticizing Christianity. Can't, does not tolerate it. But those men there that fought really, really hard for it, they will be looking at you guys and be like, eh, is this what we actually fought for? But, like, thank God that question came from this uh, honorable priest. He said, we did dare mock Islam, Buddhism, and many other religions out there. No. No, I know somebody will say tolerance. 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 It's tolerance. It's tolerance. Tolerance, tolerance, tolerance. You will completely be forgotten. <laughs> so guys uh, like i've said before i am not here to spread anything i'm just saying it's not in my place i'm just reacting to the olympic and i'm not saying anything contrary to what you guys think you guys support it and uh, it's your own fundamental human right as human being to support it and i have no say on that i am just clearly just reacting based on what i'm seeing online like andrew tate said satanics Control the West and they show you that they worship the devil. It is not a conspiracy theory. They literally show you. Are you blind? Then they also say, I'm not even a Christian. This guy said, this woman said, Bregg said, I'm not even a Christian. And this is so unbelievably offensive to me. Then oil. London said, over 1 billion people around the world watched the Olympic opening ceremony. And this is the best France could do. A man dressed as a stuff surrounded by drag queens and a plus-size woman with a giant crown. Your child might say, oh, that is Jesus Christ. Oh, that is Jesus Christ. Oh, that is Jesus Christ. <laughs> Then this guy said, Hussein uh, said, this is crazy. Opening your event by re re replacing Jesus Christ and the disciples at the Last Supper with a man in drag. There are 2.4 billion Christians on the earth. And apparently the Olympi wanted to declare loudly to all of them right out of the gate. Not welcome. Okay, guys, uh, I think I'm going to end my video there. I've already made my claims. And uh, like I've said, spread positivity, spread love. Do not allow anyone to step on your right and be tolerant to your neighbors and be faithful to them. Share love and uh, try to explain to them why there is a need for them to understand you. And let us just live in harmony, in peace 
and unity. Spread love, guys. Spread love. Bye.